Hi, I'm Dr. Sheila Reyes from the Philippines, and I'm reporting live for Room Now here at Washington, D.C. for ACR Convergence 2024. Earlier today, there was a session that was highly attended, and I think it was really looked forward, looked forward to. Um, it was about the session on the latest updates of the 2024 ACR lupus nephritis treatment guidelines. And what I wanted to do this morning is to give some of my take-home points from the session. So the guidelines, um, so they came out with recommendations, about 28 graded recommendations, where it included strong recommendations and um, it included conditional recommendations. And I think one of the most important strong recommendations that still is that still does exist in the current management of lupus nephritis is the strong recommendation to screen all patients without a history of lupus nephritis or newly diagnosed patients with lupus, with lupus to screen them um, for lupus nephritis. And a strong recommendation continues with the use of hydroxychloroquine for all the patients, as well as the use of RAAS drugs um, in the management of proteinuria. Um, of note, uh, for suspected lupus nephritis, doing a kidney biopsy was a conditional recommendation. And um, they did recommend to do the biopsy promptly um, or to do a repeat biopsy in case that uh, a new flare of the lupus nephritis would occur. Now, the guidelines also are, um, they also showed that conditional recommendations um, came for um, the use of glucocorticoids in that for patients with newly diagnosed lupus nephritis, high dose, um, corticosteroids, high dose pulse corticosteroids were still conditionally recommended and um, to taper it slowly and eventually in the next six months and if if probable would be to taper it as low as less than five milligrams per day. We all know that steroids have a lot of um, side effects, have a lot of complications and so keeping our patients down to the bare minimum or the most, the least effective dose would really help our patients to avoid side effects as well as and long-term complications. And so the treatment overview for lupus nephritis um, included recommendations for class three and four with five or the cla um, purely class five alone. And what's new with this guideline is the use of triple therapy over um, dual therapy. So when we talk about triple therapies, this would include or con triple continuous therapy. So this would include um, pulse steroids or oral steroids to taper plus uh, mycophenolate mofetil and a choice between belimumab or a CNI. And um, so alternatives for triple therapy would include low-dose cyclophosphamide plus belimumab and um, glucocorticoid pulse or steroid taper less than five milligrams. Now, the reason why the, they chose triple therapy over just the dual therapy um, is because of the evidence from RCT, specifically Bliss LN and Aurora, in that triple therapies um, showed improved outcomes with uh, in patients with lupus nephritis and also to save the kidneys because um, ongoing continuous ongoing lupus nephritis loses nephrons and time is kidney so um, so I think that were the important points that really um, struck my mind and also the guiding principles we should not forget that um, we have to collaborate with our nephrologist colleagues in the treatment of lupus nephritis and that we have to remember that treatment of lupus nephritis, treatment of lupus in general, should be a shared decision making between the patients and the physicians. Follow me on X at Rumarampa and tune into Room Now for more updates of the ATR Convergence 2024.